Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Faith, the Unholy Trinity. So in the last episode we entered this house to finish the exorcism ritual on Amy Martin, I think was her full name, and then we defeated the demon that has possessed her, and then she, or the demon, jumped off the window and, well, I do know that what happens after this, but let's get out of the house first, I guess. Why are these mannequins always here? I... Let's, let's assume that they were. This one has a face. Or at least it sure looks like it, but maybe it's just bloodstains. And also, did we get a... Oh yeah, this key went to this door that led us to the attic, right? Or was there another door? Also, should we go to the... Oh! Kill her. Oh my, and there's a... What looks like a shotgun. A gun with one bullet. Only one bullet. Well, that's not really helping much. So, are we really have to kill her? Well, let's find out. A priest with a shotgun. That's quite badass, actually. <clears throat> Because you know what they say, we can't let we can't let God to do all the work, you know. We have to put some heavy lifting too. In exorcism these demons. So should, should, should we just go out? Can we go to the back of the house? How is that roof blocking me? Doesn't make sense, but ah, whatever. I mean, this is supposed to be like uh, like the old Apple II and Atari Twenty Six Hundred uh, games back in the eighties. Are we, are we just supposed to look for her in this house? Maybe she's in her room. I don't know. Well, let's check all the rooms. Starting with the boys' room. Nothing new here. Still a mess as always. Nothing new here either. And nothing here. Okay. Can I see the map here? Yes, I can. Hmm. I was supposed to just leave. Oh, maybe she went to her favorite tree, the one that is now dead. So let's go to the... let's go to that tree then. I don't know where else to go. <coughs> okay, here's the well. So we go further... Uh, southwest from here. There's a dead squirrel, or whatever that thing is. And here's the tree. But I don't see her here anywhere. I'm kind of afraid to just use the one, one bullet. I was just wondering, if I press the space bar, will he take out the cross or will he shoot? He shoots. Okay, well, that was a waste. That was a waste. Should we just try to get the heck out of here? Go to our car. Oh, I was... I tried to... I tried to use the cross on him, but it was too late, apparently. A gun with one bullet. Okay, so pressing the space bar makes him shoot and not take out the cross. We're not supposed to use this on the on that uh demon thingy that just killed us, right? Oh wait, let's go back to the basement. There was that one note that we didn't pick up. So let's get that. Those boxes are in the way, so we have to go the long way.
All right, here's the note. So what does it say? Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceeding of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Okay, and let us lead us back here. So we got that note. Now what? Okay, we can't get back there either, because the table is in the way. I can't mess around with these uh, symbols on the floor. And I can't press spacebar because he will just fire the gun. Do I have the... No, I can't see the gun on my uh, quote-unquote inventory here. So let's treat this as a one-time use only gun for now. Okay, we really can't go to the other side here. Okay. Well, do you know where to go from here or what to do? I guess I just walk around and wait till something happens. Or until something 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 attacks me. Okay, we are back here. Okay, we shot it. Oh! <laughs> that truck said Airdorf. Okay. I will send a flower. It is my refuge and my fortress. My god, it is my wilderness. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Yeah, I would say so too. So we killed the demon. Game over, ending of ending five out of five. When fate endures. Okay, so there's multiple endings here as well. Interesting. I couldn't imagine that how that how you can get the other endings though. Police animal experts investigate Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut. I still don't know how to pronounce that. After the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. That must be the demon that we just uh, shot. And who got run by a truck. The remains of an animal which some residents are calling a chupacabra were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a, by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Quite a bit of text here. Yeah, way too much text. Police say they initially inv investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were, were some kind of a animal. Some, some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we are dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners 
or an animal with rabies, we need to know we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay. So that was the first chapter. New chapter mode unlocked. Okay. And then we just start from here. Okay, we can skip this. Okay, well, let's start chapter two. I mean, why not? Well, actually, let's check this real quick. Chapter one. Continue. New game. Notes 13 out of 20, so we missed seven. Okay, let's just... Let's just go straight to chapter two. Chapter two should be longer than the first one, and the third chapter even longer than the second chapter. That's that's the idea. Uh, that's the idea that I got. Okay, well, let's start the game. And there is thirty-five notes this time around. Yeah, we just confirm. Is this a different priest? Oh, we can move already, okay. I was expecting that something would happen. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been con contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Okay, so this is a different priest. Is that our Bible? Can we take it with us? We have a we have a cross as well, of course. I guess we just leave the Bible there. Or oh, that way. One day, okay. So is this a child that they uh, took for exorcism ritual, but that but it didn't uh, work? Two weeks. Oh shit. Well, I can see why they took him. Three months. Damn. Wait, did they say that they are returning the uh, child? Uh. To release Michael Davis from your custody and return him to his home immediately. So we are returning. So we are returning this thing back. Sounds like a terrible idea to me, but I guess Cardinal is the boss. Oh, and there he is. I need to make you better first. Make sure she let you get on me. Help you. If you find them to be people. You can never be Pendejo. Pendejo? That's Spanish and means bastard or something like that. Okay, I guess we make him better. Uh, who put the lights out? Well, shit, do we just go upstairs? Aha! He, he went outside. Well, crap. Come here. Having a snack, I see. Dios mio, what have you done? Just... Just... So 
So did he kill a, some random neighbor? Kind of looks like a dog, to be honest with you. It's... It's 2 a.m. Have you forgotten already? The, the notes people leave behind seem to, to exist on the edges of memory. Uh, yeah, we know how, how the notes work. Oh, that was just a deer. Okay. Oh. That kind of remind... <laughs> The, this whole scene scene uh, scene reminds me of the Satan worshipping Christmas critters from the South Park Christmas special episode. Uh, notice aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the state of Con Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Okay, and this must be the cemetery in question. Oh, hey, the doors op opened. Must be using motion sensor. That's definitely using motion sensor. How convenient. Can we read this? I guess not. Hmm, our cross is white now. It was brown earlier. Oh, and we are we are also blue now. We were grey earlier. I thought we were someone else. But maybe this is the same priest from the first chapter. Dearest disciple, Verily, not everyone who says, Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. Ah, oh, this must be a note from a cultist or something. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Okay, is this the... Oh yeah, it says save. I hope that the game saves the, one, the moment we enter that safe tomb. What is this? A lonely... It's locked. it's locked, okay. It's just a lonely little gate. Okay, well, guess we go here. Enter the spirit house. Whoa. Well, at least the game saved. This must be cultists. Does it look very talkative? Are they in a trance? Sure looks like it. Oh, oh it's just a mirror. Okay. We just showed off a key to the mirror. Actually Well, we don't we don't we don't have a map here. And we only have the cross. Should we try this on you? They are still not moving or doing anything. Okay, well maybe that's for the best. Fighting against three would be very troublesome. Oh, now these gates are open. What's over here? More tombs, and some statues, crosses. Oh, it's Misty here. Oh. I assume that these kill you with one hit too. Oh, they, it's hiding in those mist clouds. But I can see you by doing this. Well, that's one demon less, and I guess there is... No, is there something there, or... Is that something? No, it's just part of the tombstone. Okay, so two more to go, presumably. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. 
I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. Okay, so that's how they... So that's how they uh, lured him into, this, into the cult. He, she, I don't know. That night my stepmom drove me to one of, one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there. Only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, uh, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. I see, and what about... Oh, these statues don't have a head anymore, I just realized. Okay, is this going to be our... Oh, wait. Let's hope that it's not too misty here. Oh. Aha, I see. I see how it is. How about in this way? Can we go back? Yes, we can go back at the very least. But I guess we can't proceed further to there, at least not, not for now. So let's go to the other side. Okay, and by the way, I want to check something. Uh, options. Let's see what... I think I got some new backgrounds after we... After I saved and left the game last time, but I didn't... But I didn't uh, catch that during the recording because... Because I stopped recording right after I said that see you in the next episode. Let's see. Yes. Uh, Pitch Canker. Looks like one of the demons. Genis. Yeah, that's the... That's the boss that we defeated in the last episode. Hmm, forest. Okay, let's let's continue using this. I kind of like this one. It's kind of badass. And besides, it's the well, this would be the box art of the game if this if this game was released in a physical form. Okay, so let's continue. There's something over there. Looks like blood, and is it a purple skull? A statue carrying his own cross. Kinda looks like death. A grim reaper. Okay, what do we have here? Can we just do this? Yes. And that gate opened. That statue moved while we were gone. Not possessed by demons, though, thankfully. Oh! I left some bloody footprints behind, assuming those were mine. But I think something is following me. Alright. What the heck is that thing? Aha, uh -huh, he killed me. Okay, I'll have to dodge him. But the game is saved, right? Well, I guess we have to walk all the way there. Okay, those were not my footprints. Okay, let's try and... Dodge this guy. Take this. Okay, second demon is now gone. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. 
Each time I would leave the doctor's office, I would see this strange woman across the street. All she would do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. I'm having a bad feeling about this. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. So, did she miscarriage or did she perform an abortion? Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. So she was smiling at her creepily this time. Yesterday I was walking and shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. That must be the cult leader. Second time we hear that name. Okay, and uh, is there anything new here? No, we still can't, still can't open that. But what about the misty uh, part here? Is there anything different here? No, it's the same. Can I exorcise the mist? No. Okay, still can't proceed there. And there's nothing new down here, right? This is where we this is where we defeated the first demon. Yes. Okay, should I go back to the tomb? Or how about down here? Nothing's different here. And I assume that the gate remains closed. Oh, we can leave if we want. Okay. But we don't want to leave. So, what's still going on here? Oh, oh okay. So two of them are now gone because, it, because we defeated their demons, presumably. Only he remains. Okay, and... Can I go... Well, okay, this is still locked, right? right? Yeah, it's locked, I thought so. Can we go here? Yes, but it takes us to the woods. Not much of a point to go to the woods, I don't think. And we still don't have a map of any kind. Yeah, let, let's, let's not go to the woods. And just making sure that it's the same here. Yeah, okay. So, where is the third one? Where is the third demon hiding? Okay, well, let's leave the cemetery briefly and see if the demon is here in the woods somewhere. But I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it, but I don't know where else to go at this point. This is where we came from originally. I can go wander around the woods, but I will just get lost. And just come back here. Okay, we're just walking in circles. Well, that's better than getting lost, I suppose. But I still don't know that... what to do. That kind of looks like a very grotesque Christmas tree. How about if I go this way? Just more woods, but... Will I get back to that gate by going this way? Yes, I thought so. The demon must be somewhere in this cemetery. Oh, I found something. A random uh, grave. Okay. 
It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Uh, these are not the parents from the house uh, from the first chapter, right? At least I don't recognize the names besides Martin. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was, was a CPA and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in... Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. Okay, so it was Bob and... Okay, so the mother was Cindy. But where does the Bob come from? Robert Kimball. Or maybe... Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know who these people are. But they are at least r relatives to Bob. And... Okay, Cindy must be the mother, but I don't know where, the, where they get the Bob from, if the name is Robert Kimball. Well, man, whatever. Whatever. A public uh, closed casket memorial will be held at uh, Tillingast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial service will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and with twin boys Nate and Jason. Okay, so they are the parents. Okay, that's neat and all, but I don't know how to. I still don't. I still don't know how to proceed. Am I just supposed to try and use my cross on every single uh, tombstone that I can find, and maybe get a new, maybe find a new note that has actual clues that how I'm supposed to proceed from here? I can't do it on the skull again, can I? Uh, nope. Okay, I guess I'm have to try and use my cross on every single tombstone in this goddamn graveyard. Mm -hmm. Found another one. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Okay, well that doesn't really help me. But at least we are collecting notes, so that's something. Okay, that was the last tombstone in this entire graveyard, at least the ones that we could access right now. And uh, I have been playing for soon about an hour-ish, so I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm stumped. I have no idea where to go from here. Like, I literally don't know how, where to go from this place specifically. I try to enter these areas here, but it only brings me back on the opposite direction here. I can only go back. I've been trying to look at the tombstones and some of the statues around here and see that see that if they if they offer some and some sort of a visible hint, visual hint or something like that, or clue that could help us uh, determine that which way we're supposed to go to, or if there's some sort of a order to this thing. But I don't know. I have no idea. So feel free to give me some ideas, suggestions, or even hints if you have played this game yourself. But I would imagine that most of you haven't. But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, so in the next episode, well, let's try to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go from here and find the third and last demon. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Fate, the Unholy Trinity.